Hi, I'm Michel Dufresne. This is the second part of a two-part series on Top Engine. For more in information on Top Engine and how to use semantic web technologies for rule-based business applications, see my blog at blog.dufresneconsulting.com. On the first part, I talked about Top Engine and how it can make life easier for developers. On this part, I will do a demonstration of the interview engine which extends Top Engine by using tagging techniques to express knowledge and business rules. Often, business users need to extend the domain model to support a simple branching logic in the web application. Top Engine pr uh, use Foxonomy to extend the vocabulary with user-defined tags. These user-defined tags are used to define rules. Top Engine defined interviews with branching logic based on those rules. Let's take an example in healthcare. Let's say that we want to build a recommendation system based on patient information in three main categories. One would be the patient compliance information. And then if the user is not compliant, we would ask about non-compliance reasons. And then we would ask what type of drugs that the user type uh, use. Then we would formulate recommendations based on the information gathered. We, we would have four recommendations. We would initiate a switch from brand drug to generic drugs if the user is using brand drugs while generic drugs is available in order for the patient to save money. In the case where the patient would not be compliant to the therapy, we would uh, provide uh, therapy compliance information to the patient. Also. Uh, if the user is not compliant to the therapy because of side effects due to the drug, then we would initiate a therapy change protocol in order to validate that the therapy in use is adequate for the patient. Then, if none of these conditions come, uh, then if, if none of these conditions are uh, found, we would simply schedule a follow-up call. Uh, later on to ensure that the patient's still um, doing well. So let's look at those recommendations in a tabular fashion based on the categories of information taken. So we would have a category of patient compliant therapy would be the, either the compliance is, is com the patient is compliant or not. Then we have the non-compliance reason. Here we have two cases. One is because of the drug cost, and the other reason is because of side effects. Then we would have the category of uh, the drug types being prescribed, which would be either brand drugs or generic drugs. Then the recommendations are rules that are a function of the answers um, taken. So for example, note that if the patient is compliant with the therapy, then we would not ask the non-compliance reason because that would be not, not appropriate. So now let's look at the demonstration. Here I have a uh, top engine running and I will import a knowledge base that defines these uh, conditions that I just explained and then let's start an interview session to see how that looks like. So first, all these uh, you know titles and text like uh, description and the question asked are are all configurable using a web-based tooling. The first question would ask if the patient is compliant or not with the therapy. So let's say that the patient is compliant. Then it would ask what is the drug type. Let's say the patient using brand drugs. Actually, if I go back. And now I say, no, let's say the patient is non-compliant and do next. Now you see they would ask a new questions about, you know, the non-compliance reason. So let's say the patient is not taking, uh, not compliance because of drug cost. And then let's say the patient is using brand drugs. Then two recommendations comes, um, are, are provided. One is we would suggest for the patient to switch to generic drugs because he's on brand drugs. And 
the patient because the patient is not compliant uh, to the therapy because of the drug cost, and then we would provide therapy compliance information to the user. Now let's start that once again, and let's say the user is non-compliant, and now we say also because not only drug costs but also because of side effects to the of the drugs, and let's say it's still taking brand drugs. In this case, the recommendation have changed, where now we would review the therapy altogether because the patient is not compliant, not only because of cost of the drugs, but also because of side effects. So that rules take precedence. Now let's say we want to extend those rules, and we want to say, well, if the patient is not compliant because he needs information on how to use injectable drugs, then we want to recommend the user to um, watch a video that demonstrate how to um, how to inject drugs. For this, we would need to add new tags. Let's say we have the non for non-compliance reason, where we have drug costs and drug side effects. We would add a tag that says need <coughs> information on injectable drugs. And then we would add another tag on the recommendation that would say uh, show how to video on, on injectable drugs. And now we need to define a simple rules that we would add to the set of rules we have from the table we had. So we would say um, show how to video bowl. And this rules will go to the details of it and say that if the user is non-compliant and if the non-compliance reason is need information on injectable drugs then the recommendation would be show the how to uh, video on injectable drugs then unless the non-compliance reason is due to drug side effects because then if the user uh, is non compliance also because of side effects. There's no need to show the video. We should first uh, validate that the therapy is appropriate to the user. So now let's um, start the interview and see what we have. So now let's say that the user is non compliant. Now we have an extra choice here. So let's say I uh, need more information on injectable drugs the user use brand drugs. Then now the recommendation is to show the how to video on injectable drugs and still provide therapy compliance information because the user is not compliant to the therapy. Now let's start this and add one more case to the non-compliance reason to the side effects to make sure that <coughs> we would not recommend to look at a video when the therapy may not be appropriate. And actually, now the recommendation of change, and it's rather to look at a therapy change protocol to validate <coughs> that the therapy is appropriate. So, in summary, you know, we presented Top Engine and how we could use Interview Engine out of the box using uh, uh, to build interview style web applications without any programming. This completes the second part of the presentation. Please um, go to my website, to my blog, to have more information. Thank you.